Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you. Okay Libra, so today we're going to be doing your weekly reading from the 11th to the 17th. I know I'm late, I don't want to hear it. It's my birthday weekend, I mean my birthday week. <laughs> So, um, yes, let me give you guys this reading. I'm going to see what's coming in store for you this week, okay? Let's see. Let's see. I think I'm feeling my love your, light your, work your light oracle cards. Oracle deck. I need some more sage. Oh, and oh my goodness, y'all. I have been dabbling into my Sacred Woman um, book by Queen Alpha. And um, oh my gosh, she has so many womb exercises. And like, I'm so ready because I, I read all of the exercises and meditations, but I didn't do any. Um, and right now I'm ready. I feel like she does say, do these things when you're ready. So I feel like right now I'm ready to do those exercises. So I'm going to share. If you guys are interested in this, it's a lot of womb exercises, a lot of like feminine things and things of that nature. I've been just opening books and letting it lay, letting it um, fall on where it is. And there's been a lot of womb healing. So if you're a feminine Libra, um, make sure... Your womb. Pay attention to your womb and also your ovaries and things like that. So um, that's what I'm. That's what I've been picking up, and I feel like I'm ready now. What's coming out of this chat? Um, yes. Just say yes. <laughs> so that's basically what it is. Just say yes. Um, I'm gonna keep it to where we at with it. Just say yes. All you gotta do is say yes. Don't you know what you feel? Let me address you, babe. Open up your mind and just rest. All you got to do is say yes. Let's see what we have. That is the overall message for this week is say yes. Say yes, Libra. Take a leap of faith. Do something that you don't normally do. And it's going to be okay. The universe is leading you to where where. You need to be just where you need to be. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's basically, don't, let's, look, this is what the book, it says. Basically, it says, yes, 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 yes. Then it says, don't overthink it. Just say yes. Don't overthink. Just say yes. Just say yes. I don't know why I'm just getting excited, like, don't overthink it. Just say yes. Um, let's see what we have in store this week. I'm going to go in with my black cards. Actually, no. Let me clean this off. I'm, my black cards are coming out, but I'm going to start with my tarot. Start with my tarot. Yes. I'm going to start with this tarot deck. With the all you gotta do is say yes this week. Just say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't overthink it. So what are we gonna be saying yes to? doing what messages do we have for libra for the week of october 11th to the 17th what messages do we have oh lovers some of you guys are going to be realizing somebody's not being honest somebody's going to be wearing a mask um yes look at this the Hierophant with the Two of Cups. 
some type of breakup. Got the lovers with the hierophant. Some of you, somebody could be feeling like they're not being guided. Also, there is... Hold up now. Somebody could be breaking up this week. Communication. Somebody could be getting a phone call on Friday. Oh, phone call that brings some type of love in your life. Okay, and then somebody, so the beginning of the week starts off just a little bit, a little bit off balance. Something starts picking up by Thursday, by Friday, actually. Something starts picking up. Let's see. Magnetic attraction. Somebody's coming back. Somebody could be missing somebody. You could be realizing that you miss your bit. You're missing somebody on Monday. Um, there was like some type of breakup or something, or some type of connection. Somebody could possibly be trying to chase you. tower card at the bottom with the moon at the bottom of the deck behind that is the ace of wands oh there's something that you're not going to see something looks like something totally different but that other face behind it is this new beginning behind it is what you want behind it is your passions it's your desires it's what it is you want but somebody may be different somebody may be somebody might not be who you're expecting it, it may not be who you're expecting to be with. Um, or somebody may be different from what you're usually expecting. It looked like somebody went through a breakup or there was a breakup that happened. There was a significant breakup. And the fact that Saturn was direct, for some of you guys, there was a breakup five months prior to this a separation, some type of argument, some type of pain that happened five months prior that could have been resurfacing on Monday. So you could have been thinking about this on Monday. Um, I feel like the fact that this is coming up, this is a, a great time for healing. Also with this Hierophant card here and the Queen of Pentacles, for some of you guys, I feel like this is some type of wisdom coming in. With this Hierophant card and the reverse, hold on. Yeah, with this Hierophant card in the reverse, there was something that wasn't stable for you at first. There was a lesson that you had to learn. Somebody, some, some, somebody changed their way of thinking. For some of you guys, there's going to be something that happens possibly Tuesday, today, that change your way of thinking, change your ideal. Some Something is time to let something fall in order for you to become stable, in order for you to become grounded. There's an outdated system or ways of thinking. For some of you guys, um, there could be, you could be rebelling against societal norms. There could be some type of abuse of power, um, stagnation, ego-based leadership, a need to connect with spirit. For some of you guys, there's there was a need for you to connect with spirit. I, then I feel some of you guys are grounding yourself with this Queen of Pentacles card. Um, there could also be a Taurus and a Capricorn, significant Taurus and a Capricorn. Um, for some of you guys, you're realizing that the voice of your own heart is the voice that matters the most. Some of you guys are getting grounded in something. Some of you guys may need to go earthing. I was thinking about that yesterday. Like, I just need to put my foot, my feet in some soil and just let the earth recharge me. 
um, or just lay in the grass. It's been cold though. It's been cold and wet and rainy and dewy and cloudy out here. But hopefully they say it's, we're going to get some sun today or tomorrow. But some of you guys, you had to change some type of old way, some old, some type of old mindset. So I'm feeling like there's the releasing of something so something else could come in. Um, this could have something to do with the Capricorn or Taurus. Definitely. Then you have this two of cups in the reverse. There could be some type of breakup. Twin flame. There could have been some type of breakup. It looks like somebody who broke up with you could be coming back. You see this knight of this knight of swords running back to these cups. Somebody's trying to run to this bike that's moving. Somebody's coming back. There's some type of magnetic attraction that could definitely be happening on um definitely be happening with love. Somebody in a situation was not open to receive some type of love. And looks like on Wednesday or some some day this week, this person is definitely going to be coming back to get something. Somebody is ready. Somebody is willing now. Okay. Um, it looks like everything is like the opposite and then it's healing. So for some of you guys, this could be how somebody else is feeling. Somebody is blocked and somebody is ready. Um, somebody is open and somebody is not, um, somebody is grounded and somebody is not. It's like almost like the opposites of things, almost like opposites attract. For some of you guys, some of you guys could have been feeling alone previously. Previously, you could have been feeling alone. You could have had some negative thoughts here, but with this 10 of pentacles here, Now you're surrounded by family and support. Or some of you guys could be wishing that you were surround you were surrounded by family and support, but I feel like somebody is about to gather gather around you. For some of you guys open that door. For some of you guys you could be secluding yourself. And you don't have to. You don't have to seclude yourself. There's no reason for you to seclude yourself right now. Um, somebody could, you could be feeling like that you were left out in the cold, but it looks like you have your support now. Your support system is here now. You're going to be feeling very, very supported. I feel like these are old ideas. These could be where your mind is at, old ideas, but then this is the present of what's happening. Healing is being taken place. Finally being able to be grounded. This is you letting go of some old mindsets. Also, reconciliation is taking place. It's going to happen fast as well. Somebody wasn't ready. Somebody was going through an emotional block. Um, there was some type of separation. Somebody was healing past trauma. And now somebody's ready to get on that, to get back on, to get the ball rolling again. Somebody felt alone. Somebody felt like they didn't have any support, any family and everything. And that is definitely changing. Somebody felt like they didn't have some type of um, foundation, a strong, a firm and solid foundation. And you have this Eight of Wands with this Judgment card here. I feel like this is you opening up yourself. You letting your true inner, your inner spirit come out. Your true inner goddess come out or your true inner God come out. And that brings a whole lot of excitement and passion and fire. It sparks a lot of attention for you. This is you self-realization and understanding and also spiritual awakening. This is knowing your motives and your heart to be true. This is also you being total transparent. So some of you guys are going to be totally honest with somebody in communication. Come Friday, there's going to be some type of talk that you have with somebody. And it's about time that, you, that you're that you totally honest. You probably are going to be talking to them about these things. Okay. For some of you guys, you're letting your light shine unapologetically, and this is bringing you to different, to different um, excitements and journey in your life. Also, your communication. You're going to be communicating with a lot of people and be your true, authentic self. The only approval that matters is your own. I've been feeling like that, too, like... 
we sit back and judge others and others sit back and judge us. But for real, for real, the only thing that matters is how you feel about you because everyone's judging. You're never going to be right to everybody. You're never going to, everybody's not going to ever agree with everything you do. Somebody is going to find a fault in something. In something somebody's going to find a fault in. And here's this King of Wands. This King of Wands was all in our readings and our morning inspo outside in, outside in this direct video. Here's this King of Wands here. You got this Empress energy. I feel like some of you guys are opening yourself up to this love or open yourself up to a person. Somebody has their eyes set on you and you have your eyes set on them. There could be new love this week. A new relationship. The Empress gets her King of Wands. For some of you guys, you've been dealing with a person or there's been a person who wasn't committed. And this person could be ready to commit now. This could be somebody who's running back. Somebody wasn't open at first. And now somebody's running back to commit to you. Now somebody's ready to commit. I'm finally ready now. This could be happening by Saturday. A lot of excitement, a lot of love, a lot of passion, okay? Could definitely be happening by Saturday. And you have the Knight of Cups with this Tower card here. For some of you guys, with this Tower card and this Knight of Cups, some of you guys are going to be talking about there's an unexpected change. For some of you guys, the rug is being pulled from beneath your feet. Beliefs change, new awareness and perspectives, destruction, being unsure of who you are. So for some of you guys, this is a change. Like I said, this person is going to be totally different from what you're expecting. Somebody is going to be totally different from what you're expecting. There's an unexpected change. And this, you can't resist this change. There's going to be a little chaos with this. A little love and a little chaos. A little love and a little chaos with this. And you're ready for it, I feel. Somebody's expressing their feelings. There's a change. There's something. Something's going to change. Abrupt changing. And the, your advice from spirit, just say yes. It said, in chaos, I move forward the brightest light. I move toward the brightest light. For some of you guys, just say yes to it gonna be a little chaotic things may be contradicting i see i'm seeing contradicting all throughout this thing so some of you guys may also feel like something's not clear you're not getting some type of understanding with something like gonna be mind-blowing it's gonna be mind-blowing where's my my little deck oh here it is here's my little deck Again, y'all, if y'all know where I can purchase this um, Everyday Witch tarot deck in the regular size, let me know. Because I do love this deck. I really do. This is like one of my favorites right now. And it's so little. I got this for my tarot on the go when I do my phone calls and things like that. I haven't done a phone call in a long time. I just might do one just for a little time's sake. But um, I usually get these mini decks for when I'm on the go. And I just love this. I opened this up like this week. I was feeling like, let me get my new deck out. So I opened it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, the pictures. I like them. It's like the pictures kind of contradict a little bit with the actual meanings of it. So then I can give like, I, I, just, I just like it. So... Let's see what we got for you guys. If any of this is resonating with you, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. My channel. I was to say channel. <laughs> make sure y'all subscribe. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify the lovers in reverse and the three of swords. Tell me more about the Lovers in Reverse and the Three of Swords for Libra, the week of October 11th to the 17th. Tell me more about the Lovers in Reverse 
and the Three of Swords. Ace of Swords. A new attitude. I got a new attitude. Oh, and look, there is a new attitude at the bottom of the deck. You got the Six of Wands. Confidence. There's a new attitude here. For some of you guys, you're looking at a separation or something. You're looking at it different. There's a new perspective that you have with this Ace of Swords. Looking at it in a new way, in a new light. Being able to see things differently. Also, this is coming from the fact that you're moving in a new direction. You did celebrate some type of victory. You're also feeling confident now. Um... Somebody could also be telling you how they feel about you. Somebody is letting you know how they feel about you. This is you receiving your flowers. And look at when you receive your flowers, you're giving them out. So this is like a cycle. People, you get your flowers, you get them out. It's just like blessings. God blesses you, then you bless others, and they bless others, and they bless others. It's kind of like a cycle. For some of you guys, you're realizing that there was a reason for some type of argument. There was a reason for some type of separation. There was a reason for you to go through a period of separation with someone, a period of isolation for healing. There was a reason for all of this, and you're understanding it now. You're understanding it. You have a new, you have like a new set of eyes, a new perception to what's been going on. Okay, tell me more about the Hierophant in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Balance. After being unbalanced. <laughs> Unbalanced, ready to leave some type of old ideas, some type of old belief system, some type of old relationships. After being unbalanced, there was some type of grounding that you needed to do. You had to get fully, fully submerged in the present moment with this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is in the present moment. That's why she's getting with everything she wants. Because your desires are not in the future. Your desires are not in the past. Your desires are here in the future, in, in, in the present moment. So in order to be vibrating on the levels of your desires so that you attract them, you have to be fully present in the present moment. Not fully in the past, not fully in the future, but in the present moment. It's like wake up and smell the coffee. Let the sun rays hit your face. Put your feet in the earth right now. Feel what is the earth doing right now? What is nature telling you right now? So some of you guys had to get grounded. Um, and now you're balanced. Now you have the hierophant in reverse. Now you're able to walk. Now you're able to be your true self. Now you're able to truly communicate how it is that you're feeling. For a lot of you guys, you didn't know how it was that you were feeling. I'm feeling like somebody is coming back because this is past and then present. So for some of you guys, you're, you're about to come face to face with a, a situation or a relationship, a karmic relationship at that, and you're coming face to face with it. And your advice from spirit is to just say yes. Even in the book, it just said yes, 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 yes. Don't overthink it. Just say yes. Let spirit do what it do and work. And don't resist it. You got the tower card. Don't resist this change. It's happening right below your feet. Don't resist it. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you got the six of pentacles. Car but did I say karma? A karmic situation. This is karma. Okay. This is what you're giving and receiving. So something, whatever you put into something, that's what you're going to receive. It looks like something's going to be received balanced, okay? Something also that's um, is going to receive, this is going to be like some type of blessing, a gift for you. Truth. Truth. This is the week of karma. Tell me more about the two of cups in reverse and the knight of swords. Tell me more about the Two of Cups in, the ver in Reverse and the Knight of Swords for Libra. Oh, I got to make my bracelets. Somebody's running back. Somebody's running back. What do we have? We 
have anything for Libra, the Two of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Yep. This is what's coming back. For some of you guys, you got the Seven of Swords. Um, and you have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this is a person who was holding back. Somebody wasn't being honest. Somebody wasn't ready. Somebody wasn't open. Somebody was not ready to give you something. This could have been you. You weren't ready to give yourself. Or this could have been both of you guys because the Two of Cups do marry each other. Um, the King of Swords. This can have something to do with an Aquarius as well. Um, somebody wasn't ready. And now somebody is ready and they're running back. They're ready to prove themselves. Like they're coming right back. Um, they're going to always double back. Four of Pentacles. Somebody held back. And they held back because they were doing something wrong. They knew they were. Somebody felt really, really guilty in how things went. And how things transpired. How things presented themselves. How things actually came out between y'all. Somebody feels bad for not being ready when you were when they were ready. So this could be you for not being ready when they were ready, or them feeling bad for not being ready when you were ready. Somebody was ready and somebody was not. Um, but both people weren't weren't totally being honest. This is the two of cups situation, so it's mirroring each other. Something's mirroring you. There's something that is. There's a relationship that's marrying you and it could have been triggering you because you could have put on this persona like you were ready, but for real, deep down inside, you weren't. And this person was a reflection of what you were feeling deep down inside. Deep down inside, you were just as scared as commitment as, as this person was. Deep down inside, you had this seven of swords energy just like they were. You were doing something wrong. You were feeling guilty just like they were. You were holding back. Deep down inside, y'all were mirroring each other. That's what the Two of Cups is. Yes, it's a breakup, it's a separation, but it's two people mirroring. Because they can be mirroring your shadow side, they could be mirroring the side that you need to celebrate, but it's a mirror of a reflection of what's inside of you. So whatever you got from this person, that was something that you had to work through, and it looks like you did work through this. You're ready for a higher level of commitment. Somebody here is ready for a high level of commitment. Somebody wasn't ready at first with this hier this hierophant in the reverse. But now that the hierophant is ready, now both people are here. Both people are also in, in, in alignment, ready to take order from spirit. Ready to take orders now. Some Also, some people are in alignment now ready to create a union tell me more about the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles for libra tell me more about the five got the eight of wands after things were in the uproars for some of you guys there was a relationship this could have been some type of family problems some family drama things were going wrong it almost felt like it was in a storm like things were not going wrong too much stuff was happening around you it's like you couldn't get a grip and you was feeling depressed and left out in the cold now things have changed things have definitely changed you have the support that you want um you have that love that you want. And you got the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. This signifies family love, also children. For some of you guys, you could have had you could have been having problems with your children. Now things are coming together. For some of you guys, how things come together is going to be like in a whirlwind of things. It's going to be some chaos here. For some of you guys, things are going to come together in a chaotic way. You got this eight of wands. Then you have this double eights. So eight, eight. Eight of wands here, then the eight of wands there. 
what's behind this six of pentacles this is karma then the ten of pentacles yes for some of you guys you've been working on this and you're about to receive your karma this is your good this is a week of karma a little love and a little chaos okay <laughs> tell me more about the eight of wands and the judgment card for libra Tell me more about the Eight of Wands and the Judgment card for Libra. Ten of Pentacles. Ten, ten. It's coming together. Truly stepping into it. Six of Wands here. Somebody's telling you how they feel. Got the Emperor behind this. Could be an Emperor telling you how you feel. Telling somebody, telling somebody how they feel through communication. Through communication, something comes together. This happens when you let your true self out. You have to be courageous and confident enough to be your true self. Care less about what somebody feels about you, how other people are going to judge you. That's how you get what it is that you want. That's how you get this Ten of Pentacles that you've been wanting. For some of you guys, this is excitement. This is movement that comes in the career. And when you get to a place of letting your own authenticity shine and not being afraid of who's judging you, not being afraid of what somebody got to say about you, um, that's, when you get, that's when you get your blessings. That's when you get your Ten of Pentacles. That's when you get the very thing that you've been trying to pull in for yourself, that you've been trying to manifest. It starts with you. It starts with you on the inside. That's how you get your six of wands. This is how you get your shine, your victory. Okay? This is you stepping into the sun, um, into the spotlight. This is also you being confident. And this is also people appreciating you for the whatever work that it is that you do. But how you do that is you being your complete, authentic self. Especially this week. And just say yes to it. How Whatever it is that you're feeling, just say yes to it, okay? Tell me more about the Empress and the King of Wands for Libra. Tell me more about the Empress and the King of Wands for Libra. This could be some type of Aries. Tell me more about the Empress and the King of Wands or a Leo. Tell me more about the Empress and the King of Wands. <laughs> I did say Aries too. I did say this. This is the Emperor. The Emperor is coming out here. And this Queen of Pentacles here. So I feel like that's your energy. That's what came out. That's you being in the present moment. You got the world card. This is the Emperor. Somebody has their eyes set on you. And they're coming to get you. I don't know why I said it like that. But they're coming to get you. You got the Queen of Pentacles with this Empress energy. This Emperor energy here. Somebody's watching you here. And you could be watching them. You could be thinking about them as much as they're thinking about you. There's a lot of good fortune that you do have. The fruits of your labor has come. You could be the fruits of somebody's labor. Somebody is older than you as well. Somebody has a lot of knowledge here. It's like somebody who compliments you. I feel like this person had to get grounded as well. To even be here with you. But there's a connection. There's a connection here. It could be an Aries, Capricorn, a Libra, a Taurus. And a Leo. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, I 
There's some type of good fortune here. This is a good connection. It looks like somebody could have viewed you as the queen of pentacles. You could have viewed somebody else as the king of wands. But truly and surely this person was the emperor and, this per and you, you're the empress. Some of you guys, this is your match. Your match is coming back. You got this two of cups energy here with the knight of cups. There's a, there's a match here. There's a match made in heaven. Yep. Behind this, you got the two of cups. There's a match made in heaven here with this two, two of pentacles. There's balance here. Also, infinite love. Yep, there's balance. Somebody had to go and learn some things just like you. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups with the Tower. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups with the Tower. Somebody had to learn. Somebody had to open their eyes just like you had to open your eyes and realize something. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups with the Tower. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups with the Tower for Libra, October 11th to October 17th. Okay. Ooh. The moon energies at the double moons. King of Wands coming out again. <sighs> And then the Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm coming home. Somebody's coming home. Somebody is coming home. Somebody is ready. Ooh, do y'all see this? Do you see this red cape here? And do you see this king of wands sporting this red cape? Somebody drained you tremendously. Drained you tremendously. Now somebody's coming back. This was a tower moment and somebody's coming back to tell you exactly how they feel. And do you see you with the blue cape on with your broom? And then here you are. Is that kitty cat in here too? No, the kitty cat not here. But see this connection. Somebody's just coming. Somebody who drained you. They want some type of new energy here. They were turning back. Somebody learned their lesson. They fully learned what it is that they needed to learn. And they're coming back to you. It's going to be a little chaotic, but again, spirit is telling you to say yes. All you got to do is say yes. I know y'all going to go in the comments and be like, hell no, I ain't saying yes. You got the moon. Is this you? Because I just said y'all going to come in the comments. The moon, that's what you're going to say, but what's behind that? The queen of cups. How you really feel. The judgment card. It don't matter what other people say. How you really feel inside. The fact that you feel that way inside. That is all the confirmation you need to know that your feelings matter. Whatever it is that you're feeling inside, it matters. Somebody has strong feelings for you and somebody's coming back to right their wrong. Somebody learned their lesson. Somebody's coming right back. This is a week of karma. Let me get into my black cards. Okay. Because I'm shook. I'm so shook by this reading. Somebody's blushing. Somebody's blushing right now. Somebody's blushing right now as I'm saying. This. I'm going to get a message for each of the cards. I did the card seven so they can represent each day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay? So, um... Definitely, you guys can 
these these days can be happening on the days or they don't have to these are just energies <clears throat> somebody say get to the black cards already somebody say get to the black cards already some of you guys are gonna be so shook you're gonna need to write you're gonna be like i need to write i need to write about this one i need to document this <laughs> Give me a message for Monday. Even though Monday passed, <laughs> something still could be happening. Give me a message for the lovers in reverse, the three of swords, and the ace of swords, please. They're getting close to you because of what you got. Somebody's getting close. Somebody could be trying to get close to you because of what it is that you got. You got the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I see this as protection. I see this as you being, you're fully confident. You're not worried about it. You're not worried about it. It could be because of the clarity that you have, the new mindset that it is that you have. This is all about your clarity that you have. This, this could be attracting somebody to you. And if it's anything else, you're protected, and you know this. You know that you're protected. It's no need for you to worry here. I don't feel like this is bad energy. I feel like it's because of the clarity, the newfound perceptions. For some of you guys, this inner change, you can see it on the outside. People are beginning to notice it even more. Tell me more about the Hierophant in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hierophant for Libra. Let's see. Somebody woke up. No weapon. Protection. Somebody woke up. Woke up to the happiness around you, them. Or woke up to the clarity. Sunny days at the bottom of the deck. The sun has a lot to do with light. Light has a lot to do with clarity. Somebody woke up to the clarity. Somebody was blocked. Somebody's waking up. Tell me more about the Two of Cups in reverse, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords for Libra. tell you somebody's running right back to you running right on back i love me they're a reflection of you somebody worked on themselves somebody worked on self-love now they're calling you this could also be a job opportunity that's calling you now. Now something's going to be running towards you. Some of you guys, you have become what it is that you desire. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands for Libra. I can brag now. There's an opportunity. I feel like for some of you guys, you're getting exactly what it is that you want. Out of being left in the cold after not having, after having this five of pentacles mindset, this negative mindset. For some of you guys, you get the very thing that it is you want. Somebody returns and you trust them. Tell me more about the eight of wands, the ten of pentacles, and the judgment card. Some of you guys, you can feel like you can brag about the support that you have in your life or how something chaotic turned to something stable. You got, you're not my type of person. 
that's a lie. For some of you guys, you're going to be contacting. Let me see some. For some of you guys, tell me more about the Eight of Wands, the Judgment card, and the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you're going to be coming face to face with somebody. There's a new love. Could be a new love. It's time for you to celebrate. That could have been somebody. Somebody could be feeling like they don't like you this week. So what? I don't think you're worried about it. Let me move on about flames protection. Yeah, somebody could be feeling like they don't like you or somebody could be mad that something's happening to you. Look, you got no weapon. You're protected. You can say yes to this. There's no weapon. There may be somebody coming back who you feel like that's not your type of person. Cutting an energy cord. Somebody who you felt like you had to cut an energy cord with. Tell me more. Oh, did you do any type of energy cord things? Yes. Tell me more about the Empress, the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Emperor for Libra. Yeah. Just like that, there could be some quarrel watches here that's upset. So, flames protection. Just like that card came out, it was like, that's a lie. Somebody is going to be thinking that you're lying, you're bragging. You got, I can brag now. Travel, somebody's taking you on a journey. I remember you. Ooh. Travel, I remember you. Somebody is coming back towards you, forming new friendships, new connections, 444, celebration, stability. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups, the Tower cards, the Ten of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Eight of Cups in reverse for Libra. Somebody could be wanting to take you on a trip. Somebody could be wanting you to travel by air. And you're safe. What messages do we have for the Knight of Cups, the Tower card, the Ten of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. People are going to talk. There's gossip. <laughs> Probably for some kids or some immature people. <laughs> but there's some type of gossip. Mm, somebody's living lavish. It's about gossip about how you're living. Gossip about that. There's some type of gossip here. What else? Somebody's talking about it. Somebody could be talking about you. <laughs> On your great investments. Yeah, somebody's talking about you. For some somebody, this is a great investment. This is the end of a soul contract. This is the end of hurting. This is all coming around. All you have to do is say yes to it. This could be a new man or a new woman or this is going to be some type of new type of relationship. Make sure you guys celebrate yourselves. Celebrate this. It's time for you to say yes. Just say yes. You're protected. Okay, Libra. So that's the message that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.